Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel Flames. My name is Blaze and this is another Robocraft tutorial. Now, in the past, over, you know, throughout the, I guess, year that we've had Robocraft, I, I guess it's been a bit longer than a year, there's been a limitation as to one weapon per robot. Now, in this recent update, this is something I feel I have to make a tutorial on because it is vastly important. And I, I wish I had more money so I could get like the blink module and stuff like that. But you're going to have to bear with me because sadly I, I just don't. Like you can even look at my RP up there in the corner. I just, I'm broke. I've been building something kind of cool and it's been taking up a lot of my funds. But um, the cool thing about this is, is for the first time ever in Robocraft history, we now have a loadout. Now how does the loadout work? Well, as you just saw... When I, um, when I just put those, um, lasers on, I had this option. Now, right now I've got missile launchers and laser blasters, right? Which means now I can kind of switch between them. Now, you're also going to have stuff like, oh, Tesla blades and plasma cannons and rail guns, I mean... T technically you could put whatever you want on here and it can all fit onto the loadout now what does this loadout mean and how does it change the game well before right um there was a limitation i mean there was a serious limitation where you had one weapon and tesla blades would be destroyed upon immediate use well i hate to say this for all of you people who are hoping that would stay the same but Things have changed, quite effectively, actually. So, starting off, you're going to start with the first of your loadout, right? And in this case, for me, it's lock-on missiles. You know, sadly, without a lock-on, very inefficient. But if I hit two, I now do this. Now, one thing you will notice that is definitely different is ammunition. There is an energy drain, and that energy drain is violently visible. So switching between weapons, keep in mind that all your weapons share this energy drain. Now what, what does this mean, like how do you want to use this, how do you really want to focus on this? Well from what I understand the blink module, which mind you I haven't had the opportunity of using myself, I apologize. The blink module and the new shield module are going to drain a ton of energy and are going to take a bit to reload. On the contrary, certain guns are also going to drain a ton of energy. Now, obviously, your little machine gun lasers, they're not... They're, they're, look at this, they, they barely use any energy. In the time it takes you to drain all of your energy, there you go. Granted, I'm only using two. The more modules you use, the more the energy is going to drain. Also, the bigger the module, like in this case, we've got the, you know, rockets. So let's test this with something else. We're going to go back to the mothership, right, as part of the tutorial. And we're just going to grab another, well, we'll just grab another ship, just period, you know. Let's grab, oh, uh, there's so many to choose from. Let's see, what weapons do we have on this one? We've got, we've got plasma cannons. Let's just grab this guy, you know, th this old bastard right here, and we'll show him real quick. Now, the key thing I'm wanting to show here is energy drain is real. Um, something that I just blatantly need everybody to know is the more modules you use, look at that. He's eating through his energy far faster. Now a couple of you are going, well that's not fair, for those of us who had like lots of weapons, that's not fair. No, that's perfectly fair. Matter of fact, I think that's more fair than it ever has been because there are people who would just stack huge weapons on, or let me rephrase this, huge amounts of weapons on their stuff and they would just completely raffle stomp those who had fewer weapons. In this case, there is a cost for you having multiple weapons. So that is something you definitely want to look into. Now, as you saw, the loadout setup is pretty straightforward, right? 
But there's something I haven't gotten over. Okay. And I'm going to need to break out, you know, Pancake Mach 2. This is the, uh, the pseudo rebirth of my pancakes. And I'm going to need to go into single player fight. Now, single player fight is not a normal battle. And keep in mind that normal battles are going to be far harder. <coughs> oh dear. I'm, excuse me. Um, under the circumstances, right? The, um, real battles are going to be against real people. Now, in this case, you'll notice my loadout down the bottom. I have a Tesla blade. Where do I have a Tesla blade? Well, below, of course. So, let's get some speed going, and let's, uh... This isn't exactly the greatest of flyers. But, yeah, let's go ahead and flip. And there's my Tesla blade. Now, what's different about Tesla blades? I, I mentioned them earlier, but there's something important, right? Tesla blades now close upon not being activated on your hotbar. What's this mean? This means technically Tesla blades are now an official full-on weapon. That is, in my opinion, perfectly awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Flip me, flip me, flip me. Now, because of this, this means... In order to activate Tesla blades properly, right? You are going to pretty much need to activate them. And they will take up energy per hit. On the contrary, if you've already launched like, oh I don't know, an Aeroflat cannon, right? There's a pretty good chance that your Tesla blade may not be as active as one would hope. So keep that in mind that you can still gouge your weapons. So you have been warned. Get the hell off me. But yeah, just up to taking into consideration. As one last change before we go, if you notice I'm already repairing even though I'm obviously firing my weapon. To compensate for the fact that you're probably going to be firing more often and you're going to be in possibly slightly more dangerous due to the change in energy between weapons. They have allowed that if you are not attacked, but rather you are attacking while your repair counter is going down, you will start to repair all the same regardless. So just something to really keep in mind. Also keep in mind that having multiple high powered weapons may not be in your best interest. In this case, I'm using Aeroflak. Having four Aeroflak going at the same time at high speed may not exactly be to your benefit. So, yeah. Um, as per normal, I'm going to go over pros and cons. What, what do I feel is the bonus to this? What do I feel is the downside to this? The new loadout system is definitely going to allow for more versatility. We're going to see more interesting robots. We're going to see robots that are more capable of handling diverse situations. Get, get the hell out of here. We're going to see robots that are just more capable. Okay. Um, what are the downsides? Blatantly, energy is going to be a resource that people are going to need to manage. Something in Robocraft that we didn't need to do as often or as much. But let me explain when I say as often or as much because people are probably going, well, we didn't have to at all. No. Hear me out. Your rail cannons or your rail guns, however you want to look at them, required that you maintain a certain average of bullets. And if you drained all of them, your reload was going to be much higher. On the contrary, if you, you know, reloaded too early, well, it just wasn't worth, you know, trying to do that unless you had no target. A similar story could be said with some other weapons, such as missile launchers. So, there was a management before, just slightly more direct now, like you, you actually need to manage it. Now, having seen the blink module and all that as well, I can honestly say that they are also going to play into this energy management. Do you take the shot? Do you, do you take the offense? Or do you go on the defense and say, well, 
I would rather, you know, blink and get out of danger or put up a shield than fire this, you know, plasma barrage. Maybe kill the enemy or maybe not and die a horrifying, terrifying death and feel very salty about it afterwards. So just all stuff to consider, you know? So, yeah. Um, personally, I'm going to be enjoying the heck out of this because look at this now. Head crab away and ah taste my blade taste my blade taste it <laughs> later everybody oh and just remember no matter what anybody says or does head crabs are still fucking awesome <laughs> uh, I'm coming for you suckers I'm gonna land on your it's bitsy little heads and just Taste my blade! <laughs> I'm eating your face! I'm eating your face and there's nothing you can do about it! <laughs> Goodbye everybody! <laughs> uh, oh, I'm not done eating its face! No, no, I want to get back up there! You ruined my dinner! You dick! <laughs> I'm coming for your face! <laughs> Head crap for the win! Head crap for the win! I will eat all your faces. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun.